everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you how to do this amazing Elizabeth Taylor inspired makeup uh, she was such an icon in Hollywood at the time um, she uh, earned the most of everyone else and um, she was very popular actress she started acting only when she was nine years old and her popularity grew with the time um, she was such an icon for so many different reasons uh, she was one of, of the first to create a Nades foundation which is the Elizabeth Taylor foundation she married uh, nine times with eight uh, husbands she married twice with the same husband which is Richard Barton the actor from the movie Cleopatra she was very passionate about makeup and um, in the movie Cleopatra she did her own makeup because her own makeup artist got sick and the reason why she's so famous she's always been remembered as the actress with the lilac eyes in fact these lilac-y purpley eyes which were very beautiful and for the occasion I tried on some contact lenses she had these lilac eyes plus a genetic mutation called uh, dystiachis uh, which consisted of having two layers of lilac so she had these amazing eyes which were which are still really popular for a reference for makeup artists and fashion and makeup in general that's why I want to um, recreate her iconic look because it's a very sexy sultry and intense look you could wear everywhere anytime so um, I hope you love this tutorial and I'll leave you to the makeup bye I start by applying foundation and I'm using L'Oreal Infallible, which is a 24 hour long lasting foundation. Obviously I already hydrating my skin by applying some moisturizer and I'm applying foundation with a dual fiber brush. This is 130 from MAC. All you're aiming for is to have a porcelain skin. To do so I'm using a very covering foundation and also I'm using two shades lighter than my own skin. Just be careful to blend in all over your face and neck, of course. So we let the foundation set and uh, I'm priming my eyelids now with Smashbox 24 Hours Photo Ready Primer, which is a gel-based uh, eye primer. It's very effective. Uh, you just let it set for a minute and then you can apply a shadow on the top. I'm just correcting now my inner corner uh, with the peachy concealer and now I can apply eyeshadow. I'm using a brush 217 from MAC uh, and you can also use this one from Real Techniques. You just gonna use a blending brush. For first eyeshadow I'm using a taupey grey matte eyeshadow. I'm using one from an Italian brand called Na in the color City Wolf and I'm applying the color on the eyelids blending it into the crease with the same brush I'm now taking this shadow from MAC which is in the color Satin Taupe it's a satin uh, taupey grey color um, and I'm just gonna use it on the top of the first grey eyeshadow I used just to add some luminosity to the look so we want to do the same process I'm basically blending it on the eyelid and towards the crease and then to mattify it a little bit I'm applying on the top the same grey matte eyeshadow I used at first moving to brows I'm using the NYX micro brow pencil I uh, always wanted to try these pencils because lots of makeup artists say they are the same of the MAC one I have to say they are much better because you don't waste the product they are retractable and they also have a little um, mascara wand in the other end you can comb your uh, lashes after you finish so I'm just gonna draw little hairs uh, in the beginning of my brows and then continuing towards all the length Elizabeth Taylor brows were 50s brows so they were really arched that's why I'm doing the arch 
very enhanced and on the top I'm applying this brune eyeshadow by MAC uh, you want to use any dark brown eyeshadow because they were really dark and now underneath the brows just to clean up the shadow I'm using a foundation powder this is Studio Fix powder by MAC in NC25 so I'm just applying it under my brows to uh, clean up this area and make everything more neat and blending it with a clean brush now it's time for eyeliner. I'm using Black Track by MAC. You can use any gel eyeliner. Uh, at the time, they had the spit block where they spit on the top and they use the product as a liner and a mascara. But first, I'm um, curling my lashes uh, with the Shuemura eyelash curler, of course. And on a small angled brush, I'm applying the eyeliner, which uh, is very. Um, Decadent. I mean, in the end of the eyes, it really it goes down, and to make the eyes appear um, larger, bigger, and more doll-like, I used white pencil in the waterline, and underneath, um, I'm using the same grey eyeshadow I used in the beginning. As a concealer, I'm using NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer, which is a waterproof, um, full coverage concealer, but it's also a very hydrating one because one of the main ingredient is the coconut oil and I really like in this product now for mascara I'm using Faux Lash Architect waterproof of course because I want to keep my lashes curled all day long For falsies, I'm using these velour doll me up lashes which I cut to fit my eye shape and some duo glue to stick them on. It's time to set the base. I'm using the foundation powder I used underneath the brows and just setting the makeup all over my face and neck. To give some shape to the skin, I'm using this Morpheo um, Contouring Shade by Mulac, which is another Italian brand. Um, and I'm just contouring my cheekbones, I'm applying the product also underneath the jawline, a little bit towards the temples as well. And to give some more warmth to the skin, I'm using this Bourjois Bronzer, which is a very warm tone, and I'm just applying it as it was a blush. As a lipstick, I'm using this amazing Cream Sheen MAC uh, lipstick in the color Cross Wires and as a lip pencil, always one from MAC in the color Chicory. So I'm just painting my lips on and then I'm applying the lipstick, but because it's very um, corally, I'm just applying it, the pencil on the top just to make the color more faded. And this looks really like the Elizabeth Taylor one in the pictures. Here you got the finished look. If you like the tutorial, please thumb it up. Uh, share it on your social if you want. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel below and follow us on the other social you find in the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you to the next video. Bye!